Hey everyone, welcome to the True That Show, a, tr a show about truth, grit, and lifepreneurship. And if you wonder what that word means, well, you will learn it spending time with us. Let me introduce you to my co-host and one of my best friends, Deborah Drummond. Hey, how's it going? How's it going? Welcome everybody. How are you doing over there, Caroline? It's going well. It's going well. It's like so exciting. There's so many things going on. And uh, yeah, but today, what are we talking about? Because if you let me go on a tangent, I will go. <laughs> and you know, I think a lot of times the people really tap into us. I don't even know if they, if they, if they listen. I've got so many people like, I'm just loving you and Caroline, you know, kind of having your thing, bantering your way. And I'm like, so what did you get from the show? They're like, well, I got that. Da -da 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 -da. But man, you guys were funny. I think people like seeing us pick on each other. I, I, we, we better be careful about that. Better be careful with that. But look at one of my favorite topics. I mean, you know, I am a personal growth. I'm not going to say personal growth junkie because I think that gives it a connotation that it's never ending. It's certainly, ne you know, it's certainly ongoing. I don't know if it's never ending because you do plateau and then go from there. But I'm telling you, one thing that I love about social media and the connectivity is that even through social media, I have found that you still get attracted to the people that you need to meet and that you need to talk to, right? Aren't you finding that? Aren't you finding that? Absolutely. absolutely. I'm still wondering why we met, but <laughs> I'm joking. No, uh, absolutely. And you know what? These days, I'm really, really working on my awareness on how to be intentional about what I do, intentional about what I'm attracting, intentional about who I'm talking to. And um, I'm not gonna, you know, name the books that I'm reading right now. <laughs> that really, because I'm, 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 I'm dancing between four right now. Uh, depends what mood I'm in, but um, I'm catching some of each. And it's funny because some nights I don't know what I'm gonna read. And then I pick one and I'm like, oh, I really needed to read that. Uh, I think yeah. that the, the more you get aware of everything and the more you're intentional in your life, it seems like the right people, right situations, right opportunities, just like you're saying. But I like to repeat what you say. You know what's funny? I was having a conversation. Someone said, so what are, you know, who are you interviewing next? And I'm like, oh my gosh, this is really cool woman, Sherry, that did this soul reading for me. And they're like, what the heck's that? I'm like, watch the show because she can explain it better than I can. But we were having like a bit of a laugh about how intention like that and how you're connecting to people. I mean, there's thousands of people in the world um, in person, in person or social media. I know right now everyone's really kind of doing this online thing. And they're like, wouldn't that be really cool? Wouldn't that be really cool if there was like an intentional online attract energetically the right person dating site? I'm like, oh yeah, <laughs> oh yeah. Girls, I'm I, going I, to dating here. <laughs> That's a, we're doing a dedicated podcast to that actually. I just did that because I have so much to say on this subject. Okay, well, maybe Sherry can give us some insight on how to uh, entertain, you know, if it's in our soul reading, who knows? I know she does some great stuff around relationship. But anyways, when we first started decided, when we decided that we were going to find someone that we thought was kind of at the pinnacle of awareness, and then of course, guess what? Sherry shows up in my life. That's how it works. Um, one of the things that flashed through my head the first time that me, you, and Sherry had a conversation was this scenario. And I mean, I don't know, I thought at the time, I thought, well, that's really strange. It's like, I don't know if I'm going to talk about it on the show, but guess what? Here I am. And we were talking about awareness and I thought, you know, so what does awareness mean to me? And it could be a thousand different things for a thousand different, what, you know, stuff that we do in our life. And it was one of the most pinnacle moments, obviously I was, you know, my daughter who is now, you know, she's a little older. She's a little older. She's 27 years old. And, um, she was two and I was reading this really cool parenting book, right? And it talked about age appropriateness. And I just had this flash. It's like not asking your child to do something that they're not ready to do. So appropriate, meaning age appropriate, skill appropriate, where someone's at, right? And I, that flashed into my head when we were talking. And the, the, the analogy they gave is like, you know, you're walking with your two-year-old. My daughter happened to be two at the time. You're walking with the two-year-old and you're like, come on, hurry up, come on, hurry up, hurry up, come on, because you need to get to the grocery store, right? I'm sure we've all done it. If you're a parent, you're like, oh, come on, please get dressed a little quicker. Like, I, you know, I got to go, right? Daycare is going to kill me one more time right but I remember they're like you're walking down the street and you're telling your kid to hurry up like your kid's 16 and I'm like 
you can't move people faster by dragging them and pushing them. It's not fair to you. It's not fair to them. It was such a skill uh, that I injected into my parenting, just always remembering where they are. And I think it's one of the best things that makes us do what we do in the other areas of our life, because we're pretty big on taking people from here and taking them from there. And there's multiple steps on that needle, right? Really respecting where you are. And then moving to the next place with other people and ourselves, it was probably one of the biggest epiphanies. And obviously, you know, that was 25 years ago, but it really stuck with me. And it really stuck with me this, this morning when I was doing some writing, I'm like, you know what, Deb, just be super grateful for where you are. Just be super grateful and love yourself and be okay with where you are. It's a long ways to go. Anyways, that was my little epiphany. I don't know if anyone needed to hear it, but that was, that was my truth. We're talking about be true. That's my truth today. I don't know either, but uh, <laughs> maybe there was. <laughs> no, thank you right. for sharing. Right. Let's get a, let's, 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 let's let the expert do what the expert does. And so really, you know what? Um, this woman, I, I know I've had the, the pleasure of meeting her in a couple of different formats, but one of the most obviously impactful was being able to do a soul reading. And, you know, the interesting thing, you know, I know she's going to come on and do some explaining because people could be like, soul reading. I mean, that could just mean so many different things. I mean, she's a coach. She does. Well, you know what? She does all sorts of great things. Why don't I stop talking about how great she is and let her speak for herself. So Sherry, if you'd like to join us, I think that maybe if you can do some explaining for, you know, our listeners on what it is that you do and how you do it and how you kind of enhance and why awareness is such a big word for you. And then, you know what, Caroline, I've had a great experience with this lady. So I don't know if you want to be brave enough, Miss True Grit, you know, give it all. Maybe you guys could do some little stuff here and, and, and entertain us by <laughs> not uh, maybe some of your, your wellness. Oh, she's putting her hand up just in case you're listening and not seeing. She's putting her hand up. I just want to <laughs> know that I did say yes and I did agree and I have no idea what I'm walking in. <laughs> it's divulging <laughs> the most deepest secret. I don't know, but I trust that Sherry is a nice person. <laughs> There's something that is not shareable. <laughs> she won't say it on, on air. But Sherry, uh, I think you're muted, so let's just unmute you. And um, I'll let you introduce yourself and let us, you know, what I want to know is really like who you are and um, how did you come about doing what you're doing? You're, on, you're muted, sweetie. <laughs> so technical little technical okay sorry about that all right you ladies are wonderful and what a pleasure to be here with all of you and all of you who are watching this uh my name is sherry green and um you know i've been in the healing and health field for over 40 years now and it just kept evolving. You know, I got my massage license in 1979. I, I was uh, lived in Hawaii for almost 30 years. Then it went into acupuncture, Chinese medicine. Body mind was always a given, even as a child. Um, uh, there was no one had to teach me about body mind. So that was all uh, included in my work. And then coaching. And I just love helping people um, on their journey of uh, creating, of manifesting, of clearing, you know, these limiting belief and beliefs and, and what's in the way um, where we can get stuck. You know, we all have those places where uh, we can feel stagnant and it's like we know there's more. You know, as a child, um, it was rough, <laughs> but I always knew there was more. And at a very young age, I left home and, and um, knew I had to go find it. Ended up in Hawaii just before my 17th birthday. So my work has really evolved and the life coaching, I've created a three month coaching program. But today I'm super excited to talk about these soul readings. Awesome. So I have a question on the fly here. Do the soul readings help you coach because you kind of know the person and you know, it just like, it's an added bonus because it must be so intuitive and coming to you. So you're like, 
I know what you need. Yes, yes, Carolyn, absolutely. That's what I love it so much because <clears throat> once I give a soul reading, there's, uh, you'll see your challenges, your physical challenges, your physical talents and gifts, your physical goals, and then also your spiritual, your spiritual challenges, talents, goals, and then there is a code for your soul's destiny. So yes, um, it's just so amazing to bring it into my coaching program. And that's what makes it really, really unique. And there's a depth that, um, that we go together. So how does that work? Um, if someone wants a soul reading, what information do they need to give you for you to be able to go through all of that? Yeah. So all you have to do is give me your name that is on your birth certificate and your present name, and then also your birth date. Um, and that's it. Wow. Make sure the spelling is correct with your name. This is exactly on your birth certificate. Okay. So you did mine last night. Um, and I'm going to discover <laughs> with people, I don't know. <laughs> Sweating right now, but I am. <laughs> so, I'm gonna... <laughs> so, how do you want to do that? Do you want me to show them, or you just want to go? Yes. Okay. Yeah. So, sh why don't you show uh, your beautiful star? Yeah. And that people can start to get. So there we go for a sense of what's here. Beautiful, beautiful, Caroline. Okay. Oh my gosh. So as you can see, you have a dominant vibration of seven. Why is that? Because if you have four or more of the same code, that is really the energy that your soul is uh, wanting to learn. There are certain themes, certain qualities that, you, that your soul is really bringing in for you. So with a dominant seven, and you've got it in physical talents, spiritual talents, and physical goals. Caroline, you're a super magnetic being. Seven is a master number. You know, I, I've got some tears here because um, the, this, the, you're so magnetic, so charismatic. And, um, you know, a really likable, very, very likable. And I don't know a lot about you at all. I just see your codes here. <laughs> so again, seven is the master number. Why is it the master number, eight master number? Because it's a catalytic code. So you're a catalyst for others. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You're a catalyst for change your catalyst for growth and expansion um, deeply. So how does this sound so far? So I'm going to stop the share here so we can see us. It, it sounds like, wow, now I know why Deb likes me so much. <laughs> <laughs> I love this, but I love this woman. Oh my gosh. Deb, does, is that accurate with your, with your dear Caroline? Absolutely. Absolutely. I, I was just saying to her as I, I got off a call this morning um, from a publishing press, I'm like, oh, by the way, we, we will be writing a book one day. And she's like, oh, my gosh. So I, I absolutely love that she is magnetic. She's, you know, she's one of those people that when she stands in the room, people yeah. can see around her. I just, yeah. you know, our listeners are not being able to see the star. So I just want to let them know that what we're showing on screen for those that are watching the interview is that basically it's just this beautiful star with points. And it has different numbers, which is helping Sherry. Oh. So the so star isn't shown to, to not the well, people. You know, on a podcast and people are listening through podcasts. And we're also, this interview will be posted on our, on our YouTube channel. So some okay. are listening or watching. So just for those that are not watching, you're seeing a beautiful star on the screen. And, and it's got num different numbers on those points and inside the star. And Sherry's doing her magic and defining that for Caroline. But absolutely. Sounds like Caroline. This is awesome. <laughs> this okay. is actually like way better for me. I'm like, I'm loving this. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Um, <clears throat> we can't see that, but uh, for all others, you know, it, 
it, it's a lot to take in. Like when someone tells you so much positive stuff, you're like, okay, no. what am I supposed to do? Hide under my chair or keep going or smile? <laughs> no, okay. Keep going, share. So a, a little bit more. Um, yeah. Yeah. So you've got a challenge code. You've got the, the physical codes in the downward triangle is usually um, between the ages of zero and 35, but it's throughout your whole life. So you've got that downward triangle. And so in physical challenges, you've got a five, five, okay? Five is the pioneer. Five is the free spirit. Now, when you have it in a challenge place, and this is what I love about this system, is that you're not just clearing this on a personal level, you're also clearing it for the collective. So there's 22 codes in the system, and depending on your, um, where it lines up on the star, and depending on your name, because all our names carry a vibration. So a little more, I'll, I'll share a little more about that in a, later. So five, five in challenge place, I would ask you as a child, was it difficult to express yourself? Uh, well, apparently I could not stop talking. <laughs> interesting, interesting, okay. Because I think I had a bit of a deficit of attention and also my older sister who was five years older, her biggest game was to come home and teach me everything she learned. So by the time I went to kindergarten, I could read and write. <laughs> so I couldn't read and write because this is also the writer's code as well, 5-5. Five, five. It's a very etheric code, 5-5. Five, five. Um, some people with a 5-5 five, five have a, they have a real ethereal energy. Like I can see that with you. Well, I think and, like I'm good at expressing myself. Well, as I get older, I'm getting better. That's exactly it. I wish yeah. you king, but when it's about real things or if it's about my feelings, I'll have a real issue talking about it. I'll write about it, but talking about it, not much. <laughs> there we go. There we go. Um, did you ever feel uh, alienated? Oh, yeah. Still do sometimes. And that's why I love Deb so much. Like she brings me back to a sense of belonging. <laughs> yes. So 5-5 five, five can really have that feeling of not belonging. Hmm. You know what? I have a 5-5 five, five in the exact same position, Caroline. 5-5 <laughs> five, five can be, um, yeah, they they had a struggle to fit into society because of their sensitivity. That's so interesting. Can I ask you an interrupt? I don't want to interrupt Caroline's flow. I'm going to let her answer. But is it when you're, when you're doing your coaching and you're explaining this to somebody, because I've, I've had it, you know, are you able to say, hey, this is kind of what's showing up as a challenge and then coach and advice on how to make, turn that around? You got it. Absolutely. Uh, That's because... With your seven seven and the physical, you have you know um, six sevens, right? So with your sevens and that being a catalyst and that being in your physical talents and spiritual talents, that will also give you the assistance and help to transmute your challenges. Wow. So that's why it's so powerful to get to know your gifts and your talents that your soul has brought in, right? Your physical goals is what drives you. So you also have those sevens in your physical goals. Awesome. Well, and, and the one thing that I'm super curious, and I don't know if I'm jumping the gun here, but I did look at the other star because that's my birth name. And there's two names in there that I don't use in my regular yeah. Like in my regular day to day, it's Carolyn Blanchard and actually like all my legal stuff and everything. And I was looking at the other one and it's sixes almost everywhere. I know. <laughs> Which one <laughs> is you the 
was, is it your birth name or the person that you become? Because I was asking myself that as I was looking at this star and not knowing <laughs> whatever meant, you know, it was just numbers, but I was just like, it's interesting. Excellent, excellent question, Caroline. Um, your birth name is, is the foundation that will never change. So all that energy um, in your birth name is a given throughout your whole life. Now, when you change your name and they say you change your game, you do, you bring in another vibration. So it's a layover. So it's an extra you're bringing in. Awesome. Does that make sense? It does. That's so cool. It's and like when someone gets married, they bring in a whole new energy with their married name. Right. And then to know their birth names, energies, so powerful because we forget. And these gifts and talents, they're latent. Like for me, when I got my profile done, my codes done, oh my gosh, I got so much insight and so many questions um, were answered for me. And I, I've been on a spiritual path and around incredible teachers and they were wonderful. And there was more. So these talents and gifts can be very, very latent. Yeah. I also wow. feel, again, I'm just like, it's coming now, but when someone gets those readings, like a big part must be, you know, as you get, um, you know, as you get older, a lot of us. Yes. <laughs> yes. Yes. yes, we do, Caroline, please tell Hello. us. Hello. <laughs> talking to you because you experienced it. I'm not there yet, but I mean, <laughs> As, you know, comparing to when I was 20, no, no, but, you know, as you get older and you start having kids and responsibilities and this and that, we kind of forget quite often, especially as mothers. And I'm just going to talk for mothers because I don't know how fathers feels on that, but mm -hmm. we become a mother. So it's like the person here, we yeah. forget really what was her purpose, what was her dreams or strength exactly. this or that, because you're a mother yeah. and you need to be everything and also be invisible at the same time, you know? So I find it so interesting because you brought me back stuff that I feel like I am like that, you know? Yeah. I love what you're saying because this is so universal and we can get stuck in our roles. We can get stuck as a mother. We can get stuck as the daughter. We can get stuck as the sister, um, the wife, um, the doctor, you know, the therapist. And there's a deeper journey um, that we're all on. Wow. And this is our soul, soul's path, our soul's intention. I believe our soul has an intention. And that's what I love about this system because it just brings so much clarity that um is it's been hidden it's been kind of hidden but once we we talk about it and we bring it out like with deborah um oh yeah 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 do you have to yeah. share about deborah here <laughs> like it was uh, did, you, did you say do you have to share okay so sherry i just want to know in this beautiful star of Caroline's, her original one, or this one, or the one in the future, um, is there a number in there for sarcasm? I just want to know. <laughs> I love it. Stop trying to fix that issue for her. I'm just going to let her be that. Um, so I just, I don't know, if, if it's like a 5552679, something like that. It's the sister vibration you're playing out. Yeah. You know, you've got some similar codes and, and you really are complementary. So um, you kind of, it's so good of playing off of each other. That's what's powerful in relationships to see the codes you have with your husband, your partner, um, you know, the person you're working with. It's so amazing. Your children, I've, I've done a, some readings for teenagers. Uh, I had an awesome reading with a client's son. And it was just so beautiful. And he yeah. was asking me these deep questions. And um, 
afterwards I asked him to write me a little testimony and he says, wow, I, I really got some answers, some, some insights and confirmations because he's, he's such a creative young man and uh, he can be afraid of taking risks and that showed up. So wow. you have like, um, could you, and, and that's really a general question, but could you profile two people and say like, these codes don't work well together? Well, that's interesting you say that. I think my experience, personal experience, um, I think there can be a lot of mirroring. And if we're not aware of, of that, of that and be willing to look at ourselves, our own patterns, um, how we speak, especially to a partner, um, how we converse. Um, you know, if we're not willing to really look at ourselves, then there can be some real um, conflict. Does that, does that answer? It's what I'm understanding is that it's not a question of codes. It's the more aware of how you are and how you function and really what's the soul, like your soul reading, the more aware you're, you are of that, the more you can adjust with pretty much everyone and anyone. Absolutely. Absolutely. It, it is about awareness. It's about a willingness to um, own your stuff, <laughs> you know, to, to really look, re really be willing to, um, to be honest with yourself. I, Caroline, though, when you answer that question, how, why, you know, after I did the reading with Sherry, I automatically wanted to get one for Ocean, you know, because my daughter has left home, but Ocean's still here. And just like, I mean, we have a great relationship. I'm like, blessed beyond blessed, just, you know, super, super great. I'm sure it's a lot of the evolution of the spiritual works like Sherry talked about, but um, how great would that be? Because I think in that comes a level of acceptance, you know, like if I know that someone's soul reading is this, right? And this is my soul reading that there's some adaptability if we're willing, like Sherry just said, but how cool to know where someone's at so you can stop expecting them to be here, right? Mm -hmm. They're like, mm -hmm. oh, you know, so that's how you, oh. <laughs> you have a big responsibility in this soul reading because you picked his name. <laughs> oh, that's really good because on some level, Deb, this is great, perfect place to share this because our name is no coincidence. On some level, our soul sent um, our parents, this name, and this is the energy that we were going to, you know, have and learn and, ex you know, uh, accelerate and all of the gifts and talents and challenges because these challenges, they're life experiences, right? We're here to have these amazing life experiences and, um, so yes, every name carries a vibration and it creates your reality as well as your choices, of course. Right. So, I, so in, was, yeah, right. So it's so incredible. I, I'm just so blown away that I love that piece of it because when my, my daughter and my son were born, my, my daughter, you know, they, it's interesting because my daughter and son right now have gone, or son-in-law are going through the process of choosing a name, right? And they don't want anyone else's influence, which I think is fantastic. And um, they're keeping it to themselves, fantastic, because I told people Ocean's name and they had feedback and it kind of, you know, was interesting. But um, I love that. But when both my kids were born, my daughter's name is Chloe. I got the name Baba Salu mm -hmm. and, and, or sorry, Baby Babushka, and then when my son was <laughs> Lou, and I started calling them that, and thank gosh they were too young to fight with me, and I'm getting a name for even in my head about my daughter's baby that um, I just keep hearing it over and over again in my head. How interesting. I mean, I'm not, I'm just keeping it to myself. That'll be my little name with her, but that is so powerful. Wow. You're, yes. really, you're really gifted. What a great. Sherry, 
Super curious. Yes. For someone as intuitive as you and who also <laughs> has all the tools, first of all, I'm a little jealous. Like I would love to be <laughs> to meet someone and just profile them in a second you know uh -oh, relationships uh -oh. <laughs> much easier but who's like for a person like you who's your hero oh my gosh who's my hero god that's a difficult question wow you know i've i've been very um wow i've had some amazing teachers i really really have um, with this, um, soul codes, Ariella Indigo has been an incredible, inspiring and gifted woman who, um, who I was certified with these codes. Um, I had an amazing Tibetan teacher, Lama Tenzin and, um, dear, dear Lama, and uh, he was my Tibetan teacher in Maui for many, many years. Um, he's passed away, um, but just so, so deep, so close to my heart. Lama La, we would call him. And um, my alchemy teacher, Sylvia, um, I use her work very much in, in my um, Cold of Diamonds 12-week program. And she, oh my God, I would call her absolutely ordinary and extraordinary. She was my alchemy teacher, and still is in spirit. And um, she was really, really there for me when my life was totally falling apart. And she said, look, you know about this. You just need to be reminded. And I also tell people, I am your reminder. The answers are within you. And even with the codes, yes, this is what's showing up as, as vibration. And you, 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 you use that with your conscious choices. And what I love about this system as well, and the same as my coaching program, it is about transmuting your trash to treasure, right? The lead to gold. And that's the alchemy. You become the alchemist of your life. And then with the soul codes, you're also connecting with your soul's destiny. And I, I do believe your soul has an intention, a purpose. And to, to illuminate that is, um, is life-changing. Wow. You know, we're, we're getting to that time. We're going to be kind of wrapping up here, right? Mm. Okay. And so um, I want to kind of leave some brief space to see if Caroline has any last little pieces for each other. But honestly, Sherry, you know, I know that our listeners are, are going to be very drawn in. I mean, there's just, you know, and for some people, this is the first time they've ever heard of anything like this. Uh, for some people, they've done some great deep work and they're looking to go to the next level. So what I know about you, one of the things that I loved about you is your adaptability to be able to take someone who's never, you know, even probably ever had a massage before and make them feel comfortable and all through that. Um, is there something special that you could gift? I mean, you know, that you could offer uh, for the people that, you know, me and Caroline hold so dear to our heart, which is our followers. Is there, is there something that, and you know, kind of an easier way for them to be able to have some access to you, maybe a little, little perk. What do you think? I think what you just did with Caroline there was so great. Those of you feel like, I want to do that. I have no idea. I mean, please, you know, do share with us, you know, your website and where people can access you, but is there yeah. anything our can, can benefit from today with you? Just a little extra special. All right, Deb, Deborah, <laughs> I'm, I'm thrilled. I, <clears throat> I love being generous. <laughs> I just do. Yeah. That's in my code as well. Um, <laughs> Yeah, I'd like to give the first 10 people who contact me a 20-minute mini soul rating. Oh, wow. Thank you. And the next 10 people is um, they're going to be getting a 20-minute free, this is all free, coaching session. And once they fill out my coaching questionnaire okay. and... Um, so I'm gifting 20 people with either a mini reading or a coaching session. This is wow. 
like honestly just thank you so very much for what you did for me uh, and it wasn't even 20 minutes so I think that in 20 minutes you can even dig deeper or whatever people will get even more yeah. But uh, first of all, I appreciate all the work that there is behind for you. Um, mm -hmm. Second, it's really gold because it can really help you be more aware of, like you said, your strengths, your weaknesses. Mm -hmm. What are you going to decide to focus on and what are you going to feed? It's funny because I have behind me, I always put that for my kids. It's the two wolves we all right. have inside of us. The right. bad wolf and the good wolf. And the one who will survive is the one that you feed, you know? Yes, I love that one, Caroline. And there's so much more I could share with you. Yeah, absolutely. Um, well, that was just a tiny, tiny little snippet. <laughs> I know. But uh, thank you for the amazing gifts that you're offering. And honestly, people take advantage of it like now. <laughs> yeah. Now. Because yeah. 10 yeah. will go in a snap. Um, I was such a pleasure to meet you, Sherry. I didn't know you before. Thank you, thank you, thank you. And I will let uh, Deb close. Yeah, absolutely. Well, I think the, um, you know, and I want to ask you a little question here. Um, first of all, again, thank you so much. It's been such a pleasure. And uh, we're going to have Sherry's information for people to be able to access um, and before we kind of sign off, Sherry, if I'm going to get you to please, you know, announce at least your website for people to be able to go or how they can contact you. But I know that we're wrapping up really quick here. And, you know, it's interesting because me and Caroline love to banter. And what I noticed is just how entranced we both were with you. And it was almost like it was almost like Caroline wasn't in the room, even though I was listening to you talk about Caroline. So you have great presence. And when I think about the word lifepreneurship, I mean, me and Caroline, when we were looking like, hey, we're going to do this deal. And what do we love about people is that. You know, there's the word entrepreneurship, and then there's the first people that out there and go and do life. And what a gift that you've been able to have this life experience and roll it into something that you've been able to turn into a business. And just, I mean, I do appreciate, like Caroline said, all the years behind the, what it takes for someone to be an expert like you and be able to kind of take that gift. So, and it's also, I think, really a, an eye opener for lifepreneurs. Like, look, you know, your career may not be the thing that makes you that lifepreneur. It may be your hobby. I mean, this may be something that you do as a hobby. It doesn't have to be something that's just your career. So I think you've just shown people how um, a passion can just expand, no, no matter whether it's their work or not. So I'm, I'm blown away. But you know what, Caroline, I love the question that you asked Sherry about um, her hero. And I gotta, I gotta ask you because, you know, we're going to finish off and I promise I won't poke holes at them. Like, you know, who do you, who do you find your hero, cape or no cape? <laughs> Who's your hero? It's a lady I met in Australia. Um, she's blonde. <laughs> <laughs> you guys. She's neat. She is oh. Um, uh, no, I, you know what, I, I, I'm not sure I, I have one hero. Yeah, that's a hard question. Totally it, hard question. It is. And when I was younger, I could have said so and so. Um, yeah. But getting older, and imagine when I'll be your age, I'll be like, aren't we, aren't we the hero in the hero, hero? How do you say the female, the herian? Yeah. Of our own life. Yeah. You know, I'm in my 60s now and, you know, it, it's awesome. It's just been amazing. No, but honestly, like I was kind of joking, but you're one of my heroes because I see you in your day to day life going through, you know, everything that life throws at you, good, bad, ugly, and, you know, we all have it. Um, mothers are my hero because mm -hmm. when you take a little human being and you, birth, you carry them and you birth them and then you're in charge, you're responsible for everything that is going to happen. And then, you know, people who volunteer, people who are able to get out of recovery and, and start a new life, for me, it's like all little everyday heroes. Um, yeah. You know, I could say Mother Teresa and things like that. They're yeah. all heroes as well. But uh, I think that what I like to do is every in my everyday life, I try to find one hero. And quite often, it's my kids just for dealing with me. <laughs> I love it. Mm -hmm. I love it. 
Well, look at what an inspiring, I mean, I think the, the word that we were talking about was awareness and um, honestly, thank you, Caroline, as well for participating. Um, and, you know, really it, it's not easy to sit there and receive information and be able to digest it right away. So I think if, if our goal today was to introduce and uh, people to lifepreneurship and raise their level of awareness, even just knowing about knowing, just mm. even knowing knowing I think I think it's been a fantastic experience thank you so much Sherry can you just please sign us off with um, where people can get a hold of you yes I just want to mention one last thing my partner is definitely a hero of mine and he puts okay. up with a lot so <laughs> my email address is Sherry and this is with one R so it's Sherry Green 1959 at gmail.com my website is regenerativehealing.ca and there's a form to fill out and and that'll get to me as well. So Sherry, are you an I or a Y? So S-H-E-R. The Gmail account. I've got two email accounts. So uh, what's on my website is Sherry with one R and an I. Perfect. Sherry Green 1959 at gmail.com and regenerative.ca. Awesome. Well, it was super fun. Caroline is always, uh, you know, I, I always look forward to it. And honestly, Sherry, I think it's pretty clear that we know that you're going to be coming back. <laughs> We're going to be so too. <laughs> I'd love to. That next time we should have, we should pick someone and call them and direct, like with mm -hmm. them knowing and um, yeah, let's organize that. So we'll have people later send us names. You'll pick one and mm -hmm. you'll, you're reading ready for that person. And Perfect. Then you hear it on the spot. That would be <laughs> fabulous. Yeah. Okay. So okay. thank you so much, guys. Everyone have a beautiful day and a beautiful week and we'll be back soon. All right. Okay. Thank care. you so much, guys. Many blessings. You too. Bye. You too.